morning and God bless you. It's a beautiful October day. And I wanted to share something that I enjoy regarding my granddaughter. I have several grandkids. But one in particular, I enjoy hearing her pray. So every time we're out, if we're out eating a bite, I ask that she prays because her prayers are so wonderful. They're so pure and so touching that it just almost takes your breath away. Jesus said in Matthew 5, 8, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Remember that? Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. So much of our praying, I believe, and I point the finger at myself, is so mixed and alloyed with other corruptible elements, we'll say. Selfish motives. If we're praying publicly, the desire to impress other people. All kinds of mixed elements that can go into it. And to listen to someone pray a prayer to God and communicate with God from the base level of their heart and from a heart of innocence and well, free from corruption as much as a human being can be is awfully stirring and convicting because we realize we're not like that. You know, Jesus said, of course, Suffer the little children. In other words, permit the little children to come unto me. You remember when the disciples were trying to push them away because they were such an interruption as they thought. Jesus has all this important stuff to do, don't you know? And so you little kids, go off to the side and perhaps he'll touch you and bless you later on. But Jesus wanted the children to come to him. And he told us that this is the nature of the kingdom of God. Not to be so, quote-unquote, adult in our thinking and in our approach to life, in our praying, but to be like a little child innocently pouring their hearts out before God. Be a child with God, as I need to be. Be simple in the right sense. There's a difference between being simple and being simplistic. Sim simplistic carries with it this idea of being naive and unaware of the variables involved in a matter. Simple is clear and straight and true and honest and real. And we need to be simple in our lives, in our orientation, in our praying for sure. Be simple. Why is it, Lord, that we're so unsimple? Why is it that things are not so easy as they were when we were children? We've allowed the world to contaminate us, haven't we? We've allowed the church sometimes to contaminate us because we take our cues from other people and we think this is done. But again, Jesus said, you know, you must become like a little child in order to enter the kingdom of God. You remember that? He took a little child and put it in the midst of them. He says, this is what the kingdom's like. Paul was concerned about the Corinthians at one point the church there in Corinth, and he said to him, uh, I'm afraid that you're going to lose the simplicity that is in Christ, that you're going to be deceived like Eve was deceived and taken away and enticed into all kinds of sinful thinking and behaviors. Return to your simplicity in Jesus Christ. Oh, what a great challenge that is, isn't it? Do you know Jesus? Have you put your trust in him? 
have you thrown off all of your supposed adult thinking, your foolishness, and received him like a child? Something to think about today. Blessings.